Hello, welcome to this next uh, Marvelous Designer tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to make a dress, um, but uh, we want kind of a puffy uh, layered skirt. Um, and it's taken me a little while to kind of figure that out, uh, looking at some actual kind of, you know, tailoring, sewing stuff. Um, so let's stop waffling and let's get going. Uh, so I'm in MD and I'm just going to add in a female avatar. And then, whoops, let's get that out of the way. What I want around her waist then is a waistband that just does not move. It just stays exactly where it is. And for that, I'm going to create a couple of measures. So on the measuring tools, wherever they are, there they are. We're going to do the basic circumference measure because I don't want it to stick to the body. Um, you know, as it goes around the body, I don't want it to go in every kind of nook and cranny. I want it to be the basic area around. So we use the basic circumference tool. And I'll just get into a frontish view. And I'm going to use these points as a reference, these measure points. So I'll click first one, then the second, then I'll come around to the side and put a third in. So it forms quite a nice waistband. I now I want to do the same um, a little lower down. So I'll click there and there, sort of like two opposite points, and then go around and try and get the same kind of angle going between the two. Okay, so with that done, I need uh, you know, a piece to go in there. And if I have a look, that's 958. Um, neither of these measurements are going to be right because so they're different. Uh, so what I want to do is just draw it somewhere in the middle here I think so let's go I don't know 800 and we can always adjust it in a moment so let's go 800 by let's say 150 that's probably not that's too much I think let's err on the side of smaller and then click OK and let's go to my select move tool let's move that roughly into place and then under the measures tools we'll attach measure we'll do the top on the pattern to the top on the avatar and the same for the bottom there we go so let's go back to our select move and shift F to get the arrangement points up I'm just going to arrange it around the body there there we go now let's shift F again uh, you'll notice that in places it's kind of uh, burying into the the avatar now there's a way to fix that which I found recently it's been there all the time we've just not noticed and that's on this pattern uh, property we've got arrangement and it will tell you which point it is what the shape is and um, X and Y position and we've got an offset here so I can just increase that offset and that will bring it outside okay let's just sew up these two ends and press space to sim and I seem to have connected everything to the wrong one <laughs> sorry I seem to have corrected the or connected the wrong measures so let's go to attach measure to avatar again going to select the bottom one and press delete and then select the bottom again and connect it to the right line this time there we go so now we've got this nice kind of tight fitting um, waistband which we can attach our uh, skirts to and I don't want this to move because you know as it moves it's gonna pull the dress around and you know that's not a good thing especially with these kinds of skirts uh, let me just double click on the avatar and reduce the skin offset to say one just to get it a little closer there we go okay so Next, I need to create some lines, which I'm going to fix my layered skirt to. So I'm going to select the top and the bottom uh, of, those, of that pattern, and then right click and offset as internal line along curved. And then I'll click straight here, because I want them to be straight lines. And now you can see it's just dividing it into equal pieces, depending upon how many offsets I put in. I'm going to put four in, because I want three underskirts and one upper skirt um, and then I'll click OK so that's the the basic prep and now we'll create our first skirt 
So I'm just going to draw out a pattern on it wider than uh, the waistband because I want it to, you know, pull together and crinkle up. And I'm going to sew that to the bottom line. So let's use our segment sew and not the very bottom line, but the bottom of our internal lines. There we go. I'll select that and shift F. I'll arrange it around uh, one of our pieces till I find a good one. See, this one is, is curling around upon itself because it's obviously much bigger. And then we can go to our arrangement point and increase our offset. Might not get quite, you know, as far as it needs to, but it's going to be pretty close. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Let's turn the arrangement points off with Shift F and press Space to set the sim off. And there we've got our first skirt. Now, this isn't how I want it. I want it to kind of be a bit puffy and um, light and kind of floaty. Um, and we're going to have a look at how to do that in this next part. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so I want to have this skirt much lighter and puffier. I want it to kind of stand up a bit and, you know, not like a, a tutu as such, but um, I can't think of another kind of way to do it, a way to say it rather. Uh, so we do that with the material. So if I click add up here for a material, now what I want is a much lighter but stiffer fabric. And if we go down to uh, the silks, uh, where are we? A little bit further. There we go. So we can see some of these silks, um, their preview is quite stiff, which means they're going to kind of stand up a little more. And if I look at some other ones, you'll see they're much heavier and, you know, will drape, you know, normally uh, or more traditionally, shall we say. So if I take this uh, silk, organza is it organza yes and drag and drop that onto my fabric there and then drag and drop my fabric onto my skirt you'll see it immediately puffs out now if you wonder why it's gone transparent that's because of the properties of um, the actual material itself on here and we can go and have a look at that so if you select the material and go to opacity we can go from zero right up to a hundred and you know these things are traditionally a little bit uh, transparent so uh, I'm going to go for a dark sort of one there so there we go something like that okay so that's the first one and depending upon you know how puffed you want this to be or how kind of wrinkly you may need to actually increase the size sorry I just sewed that up there and completely glossed over it uh, so if you want to increase it a little bit select the pattern double click on this middle point and just make that a little longer it's best not to go too far because the further you go the further more crossover you're going to get here and the more trouble it will have you know finding its place and doing a, a nice job okay so pull that around a little bit that's not bad I think yes okay so as I said what I want is to make this more layered so what I'm going to do is copy this panel so control C control V and then just move up a little bit but keep it in line with the original and you'll see the skirt you know just raises up a little in the 3d view and now I can sew that to the next line. And to help keep this, or to help it to, you know, marvelous designer to understand what I want, I'm going to set the layer one higher so that this skirt tries to stay on top of the skirt underneath it. Any intersections are going to try and work themselves out. So let's press space to set off, and there we go, we have our sim. Now it might be worthwhile here just grabbing the top skirt and pulling it around a little so that it doesn't completely maintain the shape of the skirt underneath it. 
uh, I want them to be a little different I don't want them to be completely the same and since I copied them yeah it's likely to you know, be quite similar so we do the same for the next one so select control C control V um, move up a little and paste it in so it just comes up on the model and then sum up to the next line and reselect the pattern and increase your layer there we go and press space and you see I've got a little bit of uh, trouble going on over this side uh, if it gets much like that just stop the simulation and press Control Z and then I'm going to raise this up a little bit just to make sure it's far enough away and then press space and now you can see you know it's not interfering and that's because you know the pads were too close together there was too much intersection and you know it just didn't um, yeah just caused too many computational errors and they start to compound and compound and you'll see your you know your your garment really crunching up and uh, coming out of shape at which point you know it's useless you're better off to reset and start that again okay now for the last one uh, I'm going to do something a little different I want like an overskirt which isn't the same as these so I'm going to control C and control V whoops stop the sim first I did control C and control V in the 3d view which has not done me any good at all See, it creates it but you know it's not in the right place so in the 2d view select your pattern control C control V just move it up a little and now I'm going to drag the original fabric onto it and then I'm going to sew it up now this original fabric is just the default at the moment but we'll change that shortly um, it's going to make it or the material a little heavier so it's going to weigh down but you know underneath and start to just squeeze things together so I need my layer to the next level of course you can see here I've got some kind of intersection going on so I'm just going to move that up some intersection is not necessarily an issue uh, but too much you know will cause you all sorts of grief so let me let that sim there we go you can see that's just push those down to give a, a slightly you know compressed look like there's a you know a, a heavier you know perhaps just an ordinary cloth going over these and it's just compressing them down okay so there we go uh, that's that bit now one thing with these kinds of things is because we're getting all these kind of um, gathers and folds around the waistband um, I need a little bit of extra geometry uh, just to make those nice so you know ideally you know if I had a super duper machine which would handle anything I'd go down something like five but since I'm trying to do something that will work in some sort of production environment I'm going to limit it to 10 and that should be not too bad it's going to have a think about it for a moment while it recalculates and uh, when it finishes we should have a much kind of smoother transition there much nicer folds and you know, less jagged and um, angular there we go okay so that's uh, the skirt part or at least um, the first bit of it uh, next I'm going to do uh, like a top just to add to this and then we'll see where we go from there so I'll talk to you then okay so let's pop a corset top on this I mean you could do anything really you could leave it as a skirt and pair it with whatever you like but uh, I'm gonna turn it into a bit of a dress I think right so uh, I'm just going to start off by using my line on avatar I'm gonna draw a panel or a piece straight up the center uh, across and down and back to the middle again and then we'll go to our edit line and for each of these lines I want to change I want to add a curve point in there 
and just bring it down. Oops. Sometimes it gets stuck. You just have to kind of give it a yank, really. And this piece, I want to add a curve point to, to form kind of the bust area. And now I want a side panel. So back to the line avatar tool. Just draw a side panel in. And back to the beginning. And then I'm going to add a curve point in here. Just yank that down a little bit. There we go. Otherwise, I think that's okay. And then back to our avatar or our drawn avatar, and we'll draw the back piece in. There we go. Okay, so with that done, we'll go to flatten and then play the dance of trying to get them to select. So when it goes blue, click on it. Just have to be a little bit gentle with it. Oops, not more gentle than me. Uh, I seem to be a bit of a lummox with this. There we go. And when you've got each of your panels selected, press enter and that will go away and create the panels. Um, sometimes it won't create the panels. Sometimes it will be difficult. Um, <laughs> but uh, this one should be okay. There we go. Right, so all those should be sewn up. So we can just arrange these and believe that will be our center piece this will be our side piece and this will be the back and then we can copy and duplicate those so just right click and symmetric pattern with sewing and pop that on there it's going to move it a little bit further in so move tool click and move the gizmo now, fingers crossed, I'll be able to sew these up in the 3D view. There we go. That's the front, hopefully. No, that's the wrong tool. I want the segment tool. There we go. I knew that bright green wasn't a good idea. There's the back done. Okay, so now to sew that to the waistband, which will be of different lengths. Uh, we can use our M to N sewing. So if I bring these down here so we can see what's going on. Um, I'm a little up from the, uh, from the skirt piece so you know that's handy. If I go to the M to N sewing I want to select my M first which is my one and then press enter and then from left to right I'm going to click on each of our pieces and then press enter again and if you have a look that should have sewn it up quite quite nicely there we go not bad so okay so with that done let me just switch the select tool over there uh, I'm going to press the space bar to the sim run and see how that goes now it won't be perfect straight off uh, we need to make some material adjustments um, to make it sort of stiffer and more uh, corset-like, make it fit a little better. Um, but we'll have a go at that in our next piece. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so next then we're going to add a new fabric. And this fabric, we're going to use one of these um, stiffer trims down here. We're going to use this leather, so I want it to be really stiff. And then select all the patterns and click the apply button there. There we go. And when I resim that, you'll see it stiffens up quite nicely. Uh, but it is coming sort of a little bit away from the model in places. So I'm just going to use a quick tack to get that a little closer. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got this down to one. Yes, I do. And then uh, we'll stop the sim, go to the tack menu and tack on avatar. I'm just going to pick a spot right in the middle here and pop it in between her breastbone there. There we go. And now when I press the space bar to start the sim, that should then just pull that tack onto the body, uh, which is what we're after. There we go. 
So I'm just going to pull it around a bit to straighten it up, straighten up that front, and then I could do the same uh, some other spots. I'm not going to do it at too many spots because the more spots I do it on, uh, the more it tends to look a bit, yeah, not right. Uh, so where am I? Tack, there we go. Tack on avatar, click on the point and click where you want it to go. Probably need to do that on the other side as well, um, unless it's behaving itself. I think it might be. And that's that, that, that sim. Always oh, really dragging today, isn't it? Some might say I need a new PC. I would not like to comment. Of course I do. <laughs> okay so that's kind of messing up this line a little bit really so I'm just going to tack each of these points around the back as well so tack on avatar select and then select there we go and that should bring it all back into place more or less now I don't have the same luxury of having that on the other side to pin to I'm rather hoping though <laughs> I'm not very confident um, that that will actually it is doing it I can see it's doing it a little bit anyway uh, set all the other side is just behaving itself much much better uh, right okay so I can see around the tops here I've got a little issue with um, a little bowing between uh, pieces where the pattern is not quite big enough or it's, it's pulling uh, we can have a go at using our tools here to sort that out. Now you might notice a few extra spots here that I'm going to about to delete because um, I didn't remove them between my testing. Oh, of course that's done that. Let me just undo that, and instead of deleting them, I'm going to right click and convert to curve point, and that should do the job there we go that's messed up up there of course it has shouldn't run out of undos just letting it seem to get it back into into place that's a bit better now what I can do uh, around the top here is just turn on seam taping now seam taping sort of stiffens the edge it kind of gives it a double thickness if you like or more of a thickness and if I turn that on there I'll get some options you'll see it highlights in kind of an orangey color there and if I press space we'll perhaps see the effect of that come on when you're ready there we go so they've stiffened up and they're not looking quite so uh, bowed anymore which is perfect um, the default for these, uh, if I select these lines again, see it has a fusible common there. If I put all that down, uh, we have a few other options here, and you know you can experiment with these to, you know, see, you know, which you know works for you in a certain situation. Let's have a pocket bone, see if that's stiffer space to set the sim running or in my case to turn it off and I can't see too much difference there so I, I suspect that's probably uh, as good as it's going to get okay so um, you could put some straps on this you could do all sorts of things we can cut it up some more to add an extra panel I'm thinking of putting uh, splitting the front panel into two uh, to add that um, and then we can add some detail with some uh, boning, um, you know, boning strips up the up the <laughs> the length of the uh, garment. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so I can cut this front piece uh, into more pieces if I want. Uh, if I get an internal line. Just make sure the sim's off so I'm not making my life harder. 
and go from the bottom to the top and double click then I can visualize you know how that will look on the the model and that's like a pretty good spot um, but for this point and all other points for that matter I want to offset it a little bit uh, or I want to create a, an additional line so if I right click on that and uh, let's offset this internal line uh, I'm going to give it 10 millimeters just to give it enough space we'll make sure extend is selected and then click OK let that think about it for a moment while I tap my knee sing a song in my head I don't want to talk to you there we go uh, so if I select both those pieces and cut and sew I suspect oh yeah no it actually did it uh, now we have a bone up our uh, up our you know the front of our corset which is great and if we go either side so I'm going to pick this one right click offset this internal line 10 millimeters extend and OK and then right click cut and sew and then one here as well the more kind of curved these lines are the more tricky they tend to be but uh, I think this one should be all right right click cut and sew so now I have some extra pieces which I can change again and do more you know adjustments on you know my material type and uh, some thicknesses and all sorts of things to you know get some more effects um, so I will talk to you in the next video okay so now we have these in place uh, these stays we can actually within marvelous designer um, this will have limited application outside of MD because of uh, the export um, whereby it will export a double thickness uh, with a um, with an intermediate but it won't uh, weld anything together it's all a bit odd really um, so if we turn on our double our uh, thick textured and then select each of our stay pieces we turn the sim off so it's not uh, interfering with me there we go we can go into here and add some thickness so add thickness rendering is what we're after and if I put that out say four millimeters we should see those pop out uh, so four millimeters seems a little far uh, so let's make it two there we go so now they're standing a little more proud of the the garment and if I let that sim a little bit I might actually sort of settle down a bit there we go so that's sort of getting some thickness and uh, I think I'll perhaps select the belt piece and put the same thickness on that there we go and hit space let that sim and there we go and of course you know between these uh, panels we could actually duplicate this leather to keep the properties the same so if we just copy it and then if I apply that to the other pieces we can have independent control over colors and materials and such like there we go okay so I think that's pretty much um, as far as I'm going to go with this one uh, in terms of the actual building of it uh, I'm reasonably happy with it but I do want to you know do a little bit of texturing and such like um, and I especially want to show you putting on kind of a uh, a trim around the, the skirts so I will talk to you in the next section okay so my first plan is to just set the basics for each of our material zones so what do we got for this one that's on the skirt and the waistband currently 
So let's call that skirt. And uh, these are the underskirts. Whoops, whatever you call them, I don't know. Okay, so these are the stays. And I'll call this bit the bodice. Uh, there we go. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing there. There we go. Bit of a brain. Uh, okay, so um, for the bodice, I'm going to pop that into a sort of dark grey there. And I'm just going to add that to there so it gives me a chance to pick it again. And let's set it to a silk satin. But I don't want it to be too shiny. Uh, that's not bad actually. Okay. So for the stays, we'll pick that same colour. Uh, but I'm just going to darken it up a little. Not too much, just enough. And then click OK, and then we'll pop that into uh, silk satin as well. Okay, so you know a lot of these are going to be very, very similar, um, and that's unfortunate. Um, but I need the separate material zones to get the different uh, properties for simulation. Um, so let's have a go at the skirt. This one I'll do the same as that there. And again, pop that to silk satin. And the underskirts are already, uh, already, you know, almost as they should be. At least they're sort of black and blackish and transparent, you know. Okay, so uh, what I did want to really show you because, you know, that's the boring bit is a couple of tricks on the skirts so I'm just going to separate these out so I can see them a little better try and keep them in order from top to bottom there we go so for each of these I want to cut a piece off so I'm going to select my bottom piece and right click and offset as internal line uh, we'll give it 20 millimeters. I want to give it enough space and then click OK. And I wonder if I can do this on multiple pieces. I often try things on multiple pieces and it never works and it never quite sticks in my head which bits work and which bits don't. I'm, yeah, not that bright really. <coughs> OK, so let's try it on all these pieces. I'll set this internal line 20 millimeters. Yeah does do it on multiple pieces that's good perhaps it's the cut that doesn't we'll find out shortly okay so let's try cutting all of those at the same time might be worth zooming in a bit right click cut and sew come on do it you know you want to yeah I think it actually has so let's just separate these a little. Okay, so now I've separated those, I've got some pieces that I can put separate textures on. And we're going to put some actual texture on these underskirts and these trims uh, in the next part. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so our first task is to put a mesh on the underskirt. And I'm just going to select the underskirt material there and then under its properties under opacity map I'm going to select this little file selector here and then I've gathered together a few pieces I could use to uh, put a mesh on these so I'm going to select this add on mesh here and as you can see that adds in but it seems to be inverted uh, so let's see what we've got I'm going to do a mode RGB transform angle. I'm sure there was an invert option. Let's try alpha instead. There we go. That's done the job. Just you know, it's a PNG, so it's using the alpha instead of the RGB channel to 
control uh, such things. So that's all a bit thick. So let's lock the aspect ratio. Now I'm going to divide this by about two, so that's 135. And now we have a nice transparent uh, kind of meshy material on those underskirts, which is perfect. Uh, but what we do have is these trim edges, which are currently getting the same material because they're on that zone. So we're going to put a trim on those, a lace, nice lace trim. Um, and we'll do that in the next section. Okay, so we've got a couple of choices here and one choice is to duplicate this and replace it for these tabs. But the other choice is to add a graphic. So if we come up to the graphic thing up here and go to 2D graphic, you can select your graphic and then click on to a piece and then click OK and now if we go to transform graphic we can click on it and adjust it as we want so I want that to be we see a little smaller and then I'm going to pop it against the edge there uh, I want there to be a little gap there there we go now also on the 2d graphic uh, we have options and we want to come down and find our opacity and then click the file select and then select the same one and you'll see that you know because I've got a white and black uh, or a white and transparent image here the white is showing through and the darker background is gone now to match it in I can select my original color uh, or maybe even a little lighter version of that, somewhat closer to the mesh itself. Nothing too far. There we go. And there we have it. Now, the problem with this is, obviously, underlying that, we've got our original material, which is, um, you know, this mesh texture, which is messing it up a little bit. Um, and it, it's not tiled, uh, so let's tile it first. So if I select the tile option down here, I can go onto X and it should tile out. Did I select the right thing there? That should definitely have worked. It's having a think about it. There we go. Now it's now it's there. Uh, so it's even more messed up now. You know we can't see so. Uh, and this is going to be a choice, you know, how you've done it, whether you want to, you know, have it this way or not. Uh, but I don't want that to be, to have that uh, mesh underneath. So I'm just going to select this underskirt piece here and copy it. And then we can apply it to our um, trim strips for the underskirts at least be a copy somewhere there we go and now under there uh, I can take off our uh, mesh map there is that the right one there we go uh, so we have some opacity here I'm going to delete that image and we get closer and see what's going on with this bottom one there we go. Now we've deleted the image, but there's still some colour in there. Uh, so if I take my opacity right down. Oh, come on. There we go. Now I've got a nice lace border. OK, so I need to repeat that for uh, the other pieces. So let's go to Transform Graphic. I wonder if I can simply copy and paste this. I can. I'll just paste that onto my other strip there. Just position it a little if I've not done it right. And I'll paste again and pop that on the top one. There we go. Now I've got a nice little lace trim around uh, the bottom of our piece. Now, the reason I did this 20 millimeters is because, um, you know, if I went down to a really small value, uh, I wouldn't be able to see it. Um, so, you know, the bigger 
trim you put on there the more of a kind of effect you're going to get okay so that's that little lace trim uh, next I'm going to change some of the the panels up here um, and the skirt to have something of a design on them uh, and we're going to do that by altering the roughness so I will talk to you in the next section okay so on the the bodice piece and the skirt we're going to do uh, we can select the material and underneath roughness uh, we can add an image so where is it roughness if we switch that to map and then we can go and select our map and I've got this lace here uh, which I'm going to use so that immediately make some of it shine, really shiny and some of it really uh, matte which is quite a nice effect uh, obviously you know if you vary your black and white I've got a pure black and white image so black is very shiny white is very dim um, but you can you know crush those together to you know, really vary how shiny or how uh, matte something is and similarly because you know I've put that on the the bodice uh, I also want to put it on the skirt and for the skirt we're going to do the same thing so under roughness we'll switch it over to map and then we'll select our map and we'll pick our lace and now we've got that going there we are so I think perhaps the last thing I want to do is put this lace trim on this piece uh, so what we're going to have to do is duplicate this let's duplicate where's duplicate gone uh, it's not duplicate it's copy and then we'll do the same as we did earlier I'll just clear that map because it's not necessary anymore and in our opacity where are we we want that down to zero and then I'll apply that to that trim piece whoops I missed that will be up here somewhere so let's apply that to that trim piece and then I can go down here and copy and paste and pop that up there so now I've got a lace trim on my top skirt as well as my bottom skirt but I can vary this um, by you know making it uh, perhaps a bit more shiny uh, or a little bit more um, yeah a little bit more shiny so let's select naturally I don't think I want to I think it already matches uh, sorry I'm trying to select some and I haven't got the right tools to right tool selected there we go um, that matches I think more or less the lace from the top uh, but it's not dark enough so let me go and find the color so let's go copy one color here somewhere it's there it's just very close to that switch that to that original yeah it's not quite dark enough so let's darken it up a little bit see how that goes am I on the right one I think I'm on the right one yeah I think that changed something <laughs> yeah, well it did change something I just can't quite see it because my PC is really most missing me about now okay so let's zoom out and have a look at what we've got so our stays are sort of quite plain uh, I think this piece what's this piece on I think that's on the main skirt piece so that's picking up whatever's on the skirt I could separate that and make that just plain um, but you know I don't want to go to the nth degree on this uh, because you'll get really bored uh, so let's just have a look uh, a little preview that looks much nicer there we go we have a dress uh, of course you know on each of these patterns we can adjust the graphics by going to edit texture so if I select a piece or select a piece here I can adjust it I believe you can only do them one at a time um, which makes all these separate ones a little bit awkward uh, oh no it's selecting 
there we go if that's all done I should no <laughs> yeah yeah no I can only do one at a time that's annoying so if I select I should be able to adjust it but it's not letting me uh, so I can rotate it but it doesn't appear to be allowing me to scale it which is frustrating never mind I believe that is for uh, when you're doing the edit graphics then when you're doing the transform graphic you can do that kind of thing uh, but not on the main textures apparently which seems odd you can resize them um, you know if you go to the right material and open up texture no it's not texture it is <laughs> where is it I know it's here somewhere it must be here somewhere I've done it I'm not crazy I'm really not uh, occasionally I've had this where options are hidden and that's generally speaking because uh, I've done some at daft see now I've selected that and if I select on the bodice no it's not giving me the scaling options that I'm looking for um, sometimes it seems to hide things and I don't really understand why hmm yes sorry I don't know what's going on there but when we first imported that texture we could, we could actually scale it you know to change its proportions uh, it just seems to be hidden at the moment I'm sorry about that that's just how marvellous designer does me sometimes okay uh, I'm going to do one last thing in the next section and that's show you how um, you can add different textures to the insides of the um, of the model uh, in this um, thick view mode so I'll talk to you then okay then so for this I'm going to just select the uh, the avatar I, I don't need to select it I'll just press shift A and it will hide it and you'll notice that our internal texture is the same as our external texture so for example if you didn't want that you can go to the bodice and then select the back and then untick same as front and then from that we can actually change it so uh, where are we if we change this to I don't know velvet uh, we will get you know a different interior to exterior and you could even got a side profile uh, because it creates like a side bridge between the front and the back and we can change that again and we'll change that to uh, maybe we'll change it to velvet but we'll change the color uh, to maybe a dark red and click OK and now we have a dark red kind of piece between the front and the back so yes even once you've you know done everything and got everything you know as you want it um, you can still change things so for the skirt for example uh, that's this one here uh, we go to back turn that off I'm going to switch that to uh, velvet and we'll switch the side to velvet again whoops where's it gone but I'll give it a little red tinge that one there I think I used there we go so if, you know if you're not seeing it you might not actually you know bother about that too much but if you're going to display your uh, garment without the avatar then you know it's a nice option to use okay so I think that is about that for uh, this tutorial I hope you found it useful I hope you picked up a tip or two um, a lot of it you know I think you probably know uh, especially if you've done a lot of my other tutorials maybe not the skirt trick um, but yes, I hope you picked up something and I will talk to you again in another session.